got some accessibility options today, so let's roll that intro! Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to another video here today about Spider-Man 2. Well, duh. No spoilers from me, but we are talking about accessibility features in today's video. Uh, this is straight from the source of PlayStation. All right, now we've got challenge level modifiers and gameplay assists, high action and exciting combat. It's a signature of our Marvel Spider-Man franchise. Whether you're going up against Kraven and his hunters or pursuing the lizard through Marvel's New York, we included a variety of challenge levels in our earlier games in the franchise, amazing friends etc and today we are excited to introduce challenge level modifiers which lets you customize three aspects of gameplay enemy health enemy damage and stealth awareness with these settings you can mix match for your preferences or needs and here's a picture of that right there Baby. We're also bringing back some key gameplay features to help with combat and traversal, which aim to reduce button inputs or provide more time to react to many in-game scenarios, which is really sweet, you know what I mean? But as you can see here, we do have a little bit of sort of an idea of what we're doing. So we've got chase assist, which I'm assuming is when you're chasing after, you know, drones or cars or things like that, you know, like a bit of a doggo. <laughs> Um, and you've got enhanced auto aim as well, so we can really get true aim. Chase Assist is a feature we introduced in Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man Remastered in response to players having difficulty completing the story in the original 2018 release. The features work similarly in Spider-Man 2, reducing the target's top speed, increasing time windows for escaping, automatically attaching when a target is in range, and readjusting the camera to target when you press R3. We're happy to report these features will return and work with both our swinging and all new web wings. And then you've got quick time event auto complete, which is pretty bloody sweet, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Wow! Shortcuts and game speed. Speaking of keeping you in the action, we couldn't have to have a new Insomniac game without including two things our team and the community love. Shortcuts and game speed. Our shortcuts will allow players to assign a variety of options to the left or right D-pads if you're having difficulty pressing multiple buttons at once. Want a quick way to toggle your high contrast gameplay options on or off, or even want to open photo mode with the press of a single button, you can assign these to right or left directional buttons for quick use during gameplay, which is pretty nice. Introduced in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and now featured in Spider-Man 2, players can assign game speeds of 70, 50, or 30% of the real-time rate to shortcut buttons. So basically, what it's saying is, is that you can turn it slow-mo out of absolute nowhere. So that's nice, you know, you can sort of get some real cinematic shots with that. Audio frequency levels, this is of course talking about the symbiote, and I'm joking, um, but... Additionally, options in our Heroes Gallery of Accessibility Features at launch are our audio frequency controls. These will allow players to disable uncomfortable sounds with a high frequency cutoff, like high pitched ringing, low frequency cutoff, like the base of an explosion, or a custom setting with the notch frequency filter so they can better enjoy Pete's classic quips as he thwips back a detonating grenade. And there's another, there's another picture of that right there. You can see like podcasts, music, and stuff like that. So maybe we will be able to listen to him as we're swinging along that'd be pretty sweet what the fuck is this we've got post launch accessibility we've got post launch support this is really a live service game Avengers! Assemble. Ah! Uh, audio descriptions uh, as you can see there screen reader Caption, caption seems like something that should be there at launch, though. These features and other surprises will be coming via an update in December 2023 at no additional cost to you. So they've just confirmed by the DLC. They've just confirmed DLC. I didn't expect that at all. Access controller. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. So, uh, that, I mean, that's pretty sweet. So you can be paired together in Spider-Man 2 and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, man, this looks pretty sweet. So, obviously, people that are, you know, super deep in them accessibility options, get on it! Do you know what I mean? Get on it! 